Now a lot of you have asked about the Austrian spy network and how you can't believe it's real because, well, they don't make a movie about it every day or it's not in the news. But I have to beg to differ about the movie. They did make a movie about an Austrian spy. Now this jacket here is not a U.S. Army jacket. It just looks like one. It was worn by a much younger man in a much younger day. And for an Austrian spy, these are the weapons of the trade right here, along with a few others that I've been allowed to show. Now here's another interesting little weapon that I've been allowed to show you. This is one of the most dangerous weapons that a spy can carry. That right there is, is an Italian stiletto. But it looks like an ordinary stiletto, but it's not. This is made of case hardened titanium and will go through any metal detector on the planet. Look how fast that is. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? Now, an Austrian spy with a weapon like this. is absolutely unstoppable completely unstoppable you come up to your opponent you have one of these it takes about oh two years of training to really get a good a good grip on them whip it out and you're good to go that is one of the most dangerous Austrian spy weapons on the planet now Back to the movie what we were talking about. There was a movie made about an Austrian spy. Except you wouldn't know it or see it until I pointed it out. Now one thing I want to say about the movie when I go to show you some of the clips is that this little Austrian spy weapon is in the movie if you look close enough. Now that's a spoiler, I'm just going to point that out. This one right here. Take that baby. I wish my hands were younger. Damn! I don't want to point it at the Gibson because I like it too much. Let's try the mirror. Hmm. <clears throat> Come on. Sometimes due to the uh, enormous powder charges, these guns do jam up just a bit. But you heard, you heard that. You heard that great... that great uh, sound. Now let me show you the movie here. I'll explain it to you. There was a movie made in 2002. I'm going to have to code this in see what we got here. Just a second. 